does actually kind of look like I guess I've dyed my hair purple. It looks kind of natural. And I think that the way that it sits, if you kind of get the fringe right. Oh, it's so cute. It's me from the future. Two nose jobs and one pandemic later and I am hell bent on destroying my hair. I'm finally going to do it. I'm going to dye my hair just like this wig from Wish. For everyone that's asking, uh, there, that's where he is, right there. Archie is six years old now, which means he's hit parrot puberty. And for anyone that owns a parrot, you understand what that means. And for anyone that's never had the misfortune of having their head by a hormonal parrot, they get aggressive. The reason that you guys aren't seeing him in my videos very much anymore is uh, because he's, over the years, developed a very strong bond and very unfortunately fallen in love with my DSLR camera, uh, specifically with the microphone on top of the camera. You see, it's, it's fluffy. For anyone that's been a long time viewer, you've definitely seen Archie on multiple occasions make a beeline towards you flying straight at the camera because he sees it as his mate. And uh, when I say mate, I don't mean mate in the Australian sense of the word, I mean mate in the let's Marvin Gaye and get it on sense of the word. Which means that if I am in the same room as said microphone, I am enemy number one. Alright, I think I have a few minutes before he finds me, so let's make this quick. I love this wig. I have worn it to that many parties, and the main reason that I haven't dyed my hair just like this until now is because I've heard and I've been told that the shade blue is very, very hard to get out. Now, that's funny that I say blue because in my video that I made all those years ago, I kept referring to this as purple. Obviously, in whatever parallel universe I was living in pre-pandemic, this color would have been considered purple, but these days I would probably call it periwinkle. Oh God, here he comes. Oh God. You know, it's even creepier because he can fly, but he chooses to do that. The reason that I have finally summoned the courage to do this today is because I am on the verge of cutting off all my hair. I've spent the past two years torturing it. And when I say torturing, I mean like CIA level torture. It's broken now, it is a shell of its former self. I've waterboarded it more times than it can remember. I figured, look, before it all gets cut off, I may as well dye it blue because if the blue doesn't wash out, well, what does it matter? The hair won't be there for much longer anyway. Most of my regular viewers know what is hiding underneath this wig. My hair currently, uh oh. Um, hello! Hi! Hi Archie! Hello good boy! Hi friends! We're friends! We're friends aren't we? I didn't think so, no. Yes, I brought your girlfriend in here. Don't worry, she's fine. She's just gonna watch me do my hair. The last thing I would want to do is upset you. So just let me know if you need anything, if you want like a, a beverage or you know, like a magazine or something. The first thing I'm going to have to do in taking steps towards achieving my half blue half pink hair, is trying to further strip away the colour that is currently in it. Alright, well now that the colour has been stripped out of my hair, I'm ready to add some more. And can I just say, if you haven't watched the video that I posted yesterday where I stripped the colour from my hair, uh, go check it out. Something strange has happened to my hair. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was the vitamin C, the bicarb soda, the detergent, or perhaps the stuff that I bought from Woolworths, the hair conditioning treatment, but something has made my hair very, very soft and very, very curly. I didn't put any curls in my hair today. I did not take any heating products to it. I did not take any heatless curlers to it. I just got this brush and I just went like this and look, Look, it's just, it's just doing that. I'm intending on dyeing my hair with Arctic Fox and what I learned last time that I used Arctic Fox was that it's extremely moisturizing. It's basically like a conditioner with color in it. There's no peroxide, no ammonia, no PPD. I don't know what that actually stands for, but I remember it by thinking pretty past or distress, which is what all of my subscribers have been in over the past few videos <laughs> watching me torture my hair. I want to cover the regrowth up here and the little bit of pink that I couldn't quite get out, I want to cover it with some more pink. I know, I know. I was supposed to go blue at the top and pink at the bottom, but if you watched yesterday's video, you'll know that I really can't get the pink colour out from the top. And I can't dye pastel blue or periwinkle over the top of this. So for now, I'll be doing the inverse of the wig. I'm going to be doing pink to blue, which I'm not mad about. I've seen this picture online that looks absolutely amazing, and I also really like the length. So once I'm done adding the colour today, I think I'm going to be giving it a little bit of a snip. 
So, jumping straight in with my favorite, you guys have heard me talk about this brand so many times, Hello Bubble. I've tried this out because YesStyle gave me some for free and I liked it so much that it's become the most enjoyable hair coloring product for me to use, primarily because it's a foaming color. It means that you don't have to worry about separating each individual strand and painting it on either side and separating another one and painting that. You just lather it up like shampoo and add it to the top of your head. So you just add these two sachets to this bottle here, give it a stir and you're basically ready to go. The color I'm using today is called Rose Gold. I'm only going to put this on the very, very top of my head, like a little marshmallow. I'll be leaving the ends of my hair, the color that they are now, because that's where I'm going to be putting Periwinkle Blue by Arctic Fox. Delete the comment that you're writing about me looking like Sideshow Bob. Delete it now. Right, well, now that the pink is in, I am so ready to add the blue. I have waited for this moment for years. I wanted to go blue for the longest time, but the commitment is what's always scared me. But seeing as I want to cut it all off, yes, that's right. For those of you that are writing comments right now saying, Alex, please give your hair a break. Your hair looks awful. It's so damaged. You need to cut it off. What part of I'm cutting it off? Look, my videos are long. They're always long. So I, I understand and I forgive you for not watching every single second of my video end to end. And I understand if you've missed every time in every video that I've said that I'm going to cut my hair off. If you missed it, don't worry. Let me just tell you again, I'm going to cut it off. So it doesn't matter if it's damaged. The damage is done. It won't be around for much longer. Let me have my fun. Before I begin, I just wanted to tell you guys, all of my Olaplex products arrived. I bought every single Olaplex product. So I have all of them now. They're in a box downstairs. I haven't unboxed them. I know a lot of people mix Olaplex with their hair dye when they're dyeing their hair. I don't know how to do that. And I Googled it. I Googled, you know, which Olaplex to mix with hair dye. And there were so many different opinions and so many different results that came up that I was like, look, I'm just gonna ask my audience. Like you guys know a lot about Hair. I know someone out there is going to be able to tell me exactly which Olaplex product I'm supposed to mix with color before I add it. I'll do that next Friday because as you guys know, every Friday we do something fun to my hair. But for now I'm just going straight in with Periwinkle and I'm not going to think too hard about it. If I look at the camera and I don't look in the mirror, I won't start freaking out about the fact that I just put blue in my hair. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, look at the time. No, it's not fine. It's time for bed. I'm dying my head. It's everything's fine. Everything's fine. You know what? Just looking at my hair like this right now, I am so excited. I can't believe I put this off for so long. I should have gone blue a long time ago. Although to be fair, if I had gone blue a long time ago and if it hadn't washed out, I wouldn't have been able to do all the fun things that I did up until this point. So I kind of feel like I've saved the best to last. But that being said, there is still the temptation to go black. Perhaps that will be the best color last. While we wait for this to set, I thought I would take you guys downstairs where we could have a look at some of the things that I bought when I went thrifting the other day with Michelle. We got so much stuff. It's a cow print bag. It's so cute. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's not the roll, it's the rock. Oh, I love it. Hmm, that's a nice bag. $70. Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> oh my God, Michelle, did you see this? Did you see this Gandalf Christmas tree Santa that's terrifying and amazing? Look at this. Isn't it cute? Oh my god, I want it. This is beautiful. You want to know what's cute? Listening to you too. <laughs> this is an advent calendar and we also got one for Michelle. This is the first one that we spotted and I was like, oh, that's so adorable. I'll get that. And then Michelle spotted one. And I instantly regretted spotting this one first and not that one because that one was so much better. I still like mine, but knowing how much better the other one was, Makes me very, very jealous. So we got that one for Michelle. We took it back to Sam's place and it was missing a little knob off the very last day, off day 24. So Sam being typical Sam, he uh, made a copper knob and then he plated it with 24 karat gold. And then he attached that to the advent calendar. So Michelle's little advent calendar is far superior to mine. Mine's still cute though, 
This is almond sized. So if, oh, you know that word, don't you? If you're smart enough to work out how to open the drawers, you can have one. You might recognize this from when Caitlin and I went out shopping. I couldn't stop thinking about it. And people were also commenting about it saying, you better have bought that dress. And then when they saw at the end of the video that I didn't, people told me that I should go back for it. So I did, and luckily it was still there. This is a Liz Jordan dress. The debate is still raging as to whether or not it's a nightgown or an actual dress you would wear out in public. If you tuned in to the video where I bought the home decor. I found a bunch of orchids, fake orchids, that I was able to use to decorate my house with. And when I went to Vinnie's the other day, I found more orchids. I don't know whether there was a, a big orchid craze maybe a couple of years ago, and maybe we've reached the point now where the orchids are old news. It's, it's out with the orchids and it's in with the daffodils, I don't know. But for some reason, every secondhand store that I've been to lately has been selling artificial orchids. Ideally, I'd really like to make up a mix of bark and then you fill a pot with that and then you stick this in there. So this will stand upright and it'll look like an actual orchid. Whatever I did to offend you, I'm sorry. May I offer you an apple of peace? Yes? Oh, you'd like that, would you? Oh! Friends, the next thing I got this for Dan. This is adorable. This is a little tiny, actually, Dan, if you're able to pause your game, I don't know if you can pause or not. I got you something. This is a cookie jar. It's a cookie jar. Oh, look at him. It kind of reminds me of like um, Gudetama. Ah, yes, he's like Gudetama and Ditto at the same time. <laughs> It's oh, so cute. It's really cute. It looks it's brand cute. new. Yeah. Uh, and my husband loves cookies. He loves them so much, in fact, that he baked some today. This was $12. There's no brand written on it, so I can't I can't tell you where it's from. It's custom. It's custom. This is just a little teeny tiny vase, and uh, this was $4. A jar like this is ideal for cuttings and propagation, so I can put my little orchid in there. Oh, and also, Dan, look. There was oh. also... A matching plate that came with the cookie jar. It's like a big flat boy. Ah, I know what goes on here. This was $15 for this one. And you can put the feather chef all over Fair the plate. Enough. Although maybe wash it first. I definitely washed that cookie jar before you put your cookies in it. I did. Look at these. Look on the bottom. Oh, Noritake. If, wow. if you know what Noritake is, you will be impressed. And if you don't know what it is, uh, it's a fancy brand that makes nice plates and nice. we got a fair few of them uh, as wedding gifts. Noritake, excellent brand to give people as a wedding gift if you're in need of one. Ah! Oh, yeah. Well, that's really pretty. Snow globe! It's a really heavy, heavy snow globe and white. Now, someone left a comment that tooted my horn a little bit and it did make me feel very warm inside. She said, Alex, uh, everything that you picked up in the store that you added to your cart, I thought it was ugly. And then when you got it home and you styled it in your house, I thought it looked absolutely incredible. How did you do that? And can you give us any tips on how to identify things that might look bad in a thrift store, but they're gonna look good in your own home? And the advice that I can give is, set yourself a color palette uh, and stick to it and stick within shades of that color. This is actually a lesson your mum taught me. Dan's mum is an artiste and she was helping me to identify the difference between different shades of blue. Cause I was like, yeah, I want the house to be blue and gold and white. And I bought a whole bunch of blue cushions online and they were turning up and they were all very, very different. And she was like, Alex, you can't use a blue like this with a blue like that because this blue has undertones of green, but these ones are very cool toned blues. And that's kind of like too much of a warm toned blue. That's a, that's a grayish blue, but these are more like, you know, Ashy blues. You've lost me. This is another orchid. <laughs> another one. Allow me to put this with the collection. Ah, oh, Daniel, look at this. Look, look, look. Oh, it's a little. What? Isn't it cute? Uh... It's so cute. Oh. Forbidden snack. Look. Wow, oh, that's really pretty. So this is a little angel, and it's actually, I believe, uh, just a holder for a tea light? Yeah, it looks like a little... I think. This is also a very good find on Michelle's behalf. Michelle pointed this out to me and said, oh, if your color palette for Christmas is blue and white, why don't you get this? Some green. It's blue! Some green. 
That's not good. Archie, is that green? Can you confirm? Yeah, that's green. So, next, look. <laughs> Are they pate knives? <laughs> yes, they're, pa they're Christmas pate oh. knives. They're gold Christmas pate knives. Does that say pate? It does say pate. How no. did you know they were? I thought they were cheese knives. Oh! Oh, that's so cute! They're much better than I thought. Ooh, I got some perfumes. What do you think of this? Crabtree and Evelyn rose water. Is this acceptable to you? That's nice. That's nice? Okay. Uh, because I have had times when I got a new perfume and Dan's reaction is saying Bleh! Yeah, and just <laughs> This one is Mwah. called A Cutting Garden. It doesn't say anything else. It doesn't say what the brand is, nothing. It just says A Correct. Cutting Correct. Garden. I can wear that around you? Yeah, that's fine. As long as it doesn't start with M and end in USK. And then this one. That reminds me of um, so my sister's. Sam, I think, has this, but the boy version. I think version. my sister has that. You reckon your sister has yeah, it? Yeah, it's very similar. It's uh, F-C-U-K. <laughs> and then I got this. Do you know what this does? Is that a bag holder? Yes! Hey! You knew it, and Michelle didn't. Michelle oh. was like, what is that? No, it's for my handbags. <laughs> it's for all Dan's handbags. Yeah, it's beautiful. I think it's quite old by the looks of it. Yeah. Perfectly balanced, like all things should be. I got a questionable, whether or not this is real, but it is most certainly not real, Chanel watch. Oh. For a replica, it's actually, it's not terrible. Would You would say it's terrible? Yeah, it's terrible. It's not terrible. It's like plastic beads. Ta-da. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Do you on. like it? No, it will break it. And then the very oh, last boy. thing that I got was a tiny little pink handbag. Oh, cutie. Very cute. What do you think? Does it look okay? Yeah, I really like it. I like it. It's very cute. <laughs> and that's it. Thus can... No, no, that's not it. Uh, no. There's one last thing. Oh. I spotted this right when I was about to check out. This is an iridescent swan. Ooh. He was $10. He has a drainage hole in the bottom, which means that I can put dirt in him and I can grow something out of him. Well, look, Archie, look a friend. I better not let Archie look at that too long or he might fall in love with it. <laughs> it's like, is this my mate for life? The last thing, if you guys saw the video I did with Caitlin where I got the cameo necklace, I found earrings to match, which I couldn't believe. They're, they're my favorite color combination, they're pink and gold. I'm really, really happy. That was one of my favorite thrift hauls so far. So, uh, now you're that just like, ah, I literally, ah. I walked in and I was like, oh, that, I'll have that. Oh, and I'll have that. Oh, and that's amazing too. And that is gold. <laughs>
I look magnificent. I look like Margot Robbie on coke. Look, apparently you're not supposed to brush it from this point. So I guess this is what I look like today. Let's go see if my husband likes the final reveal. Dan, I did something really special with my hair this morning. Can you come have a look? What have you done? <laughs> wow, this, this is a lack of sleep. This is I haven't slept this in three like, days. This is I haven't slept in three days. Welcome in. You've seen me like this many times I before. <laughs> it's just the internet it's, hasn't. It's the style. What do you think of the color? I like this blue. You like the blue, and, and I like the in-between. Not the biggest fan of the one yeah, on the top. The, the top has not turned out great. Yeah. But uh, I think I'm just gonna, but I haven't done it with shampoo yet, so I think I'm just gonna chuck a little bit of shampoo on it to try and wash down the color a little bit. Apparently you're only supposed to brush your hair when it's wet and it's got conditioner in it. I'm going to use a bit less conditioner this time, I think, because I almost feel like if, if I use too much product, it might weigh my hair down, which might inhibit the curls. In one of the tutorials, they said use a cotton t-shirt. In another tutorial, they said a microfiber towel. So, microfiber towel, let's see if this helps. All right, as far as 100% cotton t-shirts go, do you guys remember when I thrifted this last year? Finally, it's the time of year where we can break it out again. But before we put it on our bodies, we shall first put it on our head. Someone on TikTok showed this plop tutorial where she put the thing down like that. And then I think that she, she did something like this. And then she, she like folded. What did she do? She. I need a tutorial, this is ridiculous. Alex, what you doing? What does it feel like? Why did you get in a dry? <laughs> and now relax. Oh, I, I understand now. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? I could fall asleep here. Me too. Right, well, it's been a few hours, so let's take my hair out of the t-shirt and see what it looks like. I think it's still gonna be a bit wet under here because as I learned from my comment section the other day, the more damaged your hair is, the longer it holds onto water. So here it is, my very first attempt at the curly girl method. Obviously, I've only used one of the products recommended, and I know that there's a whole bunch more. So any Australians that use the curly girl method, if you could tell me down below what I should buy and where I should buy it, I'm left with a decision to make here. I can either spend the next week using Olaplex on my hair, or I can spend the week doing the curly girl method. Which one would you guys like to see more? And uh, which order do you think that I should try them in? There's just one last thing that I want to do before I say goodbye, and that's that is to say goodbye to some of the length of my hair. I think I want to take it to about maybe like here. <laughs> you have no idea how freeing this is. I've kept my hair long for so many years to please people around me. There's so many people in my life that have said to me, Alex, you're a redhead, do you know how lucky you are? Red hair is so rare, you've got such beautiful hair. Don't ruin it, don't destroy it, don't cut it. You look better with long hair. People say those things to me all the time and I have kept my hair long to please everyone else. But what I have always wanted is short hair. I've wanted short hair for years and I've never done it. And doing that just then, even though I haven't done it well, even though people are gonna be writing comments saying, she looks ridiculous, she's ruined her hair. I don't care what you think, I'm sorry, I don't. I care what I think about myself. And right now, the joy that I feel right now looking at myself with hair this length, as damaged as it is, I feel happy. And really in life, that's all we can hope for. We can hope that we feel happy within ourselves. And for the first time in a long time, I feel really, really good. I feel like the shorter my hair gets, the more confident I feel. And the insecure girl that used to hide behind her long ginger locks is slowly growing into a woman that has some chance of starting to love herself. <laughs> 
So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. <laughs>